So this video compared to yesterday's, which was about Nero, is going to be significantly faster because Dobrynia's buff, very lackluster in compared to like Shisho or Nero. But this is a buff she kind of needed if she wanted to have more utility than just a anti-caster that's also a dragon servant. So Dobrynia. She is a permanent rider that came with Tunguska, there, and that's the reason she got buffed today with uh, Taikubo. Uh, base attack, well above average, 9.7, almost 9.8k. Good number for a four star. HP, a uh, lot lower than I'd actually like for a more tanky unit that has a guts uh, and everything, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Star weight Sargent, these are normal rider numbers. MP charge is at 0.86%. And hit counts not the best, but at the same time, you are supposed to be critting on these. He does have you're running her with bitch, and you do have what you need to really get her to crit on all of her cards. And she's a rider, so even without the star weight buff, she should be critting most of the time. That's why they can get away with like riders having worse face cards because like they're going to soak up 90% of the stars uh, without any star weight buffs by the way private extra attacks nice um not it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be super amazing because low base star gen chance because she's a rider but eh, it's close enough to one percent on the mp charge with five hits so it's not terrible first skill guts one time three turns debuff immunity one time three turns and crit stars three for three turns 10 uh 10 stars per turn and the revive is 3k hp what you want in a challenge quest servant uh kind of sucks that the debuff immunity is one time three turns but again that also kind of depends on what enemy you're fighting you're fighting a very debuff heavy enemy which truly isn't outside the possibility because you're fighting a caster uh it's just that more likely than not the debuffer is probably going to be an assassin in which case uh the bring is kind of fuck isn't she second skill this is a very very strong steroid 30 percent arts 30 percent buster and a 50 percent power mod against dragon enemies or herself this is one hell of a steroid like it's unfortunate that it is dragon but at the same time there are ways you can make people dragons saint george it's just that is not the most comfortable thing to do uh in a cq it's actually kind of likely just because george uh can come in and just like take up take a bunch of hits so you because he has his taunt on his first skill if you load him up with a k scope like he comes in and then like you will have dragon so uh, it like it's not the most common power mod but it is one you can exploit in the game it's just like that thing with george is not what people use him for at all he is mostly an esports unit but that is utility he does have he has always had in this game second skill i mean third skill and this is like people are a little surprised that this one wasn't puffed <clears throat> but i'm actually fine with it <clears throat> i'm fine with the uh, mp being buffed over this skill because i think upping this to 30 is loaded on a five turn cooldown so right now it's 20 percent battery 30 percent crit damage and 30 percent power mod against dragons but this time it's for the entire party both of these are party wide so making this a 30 and having these two like actually pretty decent party wide buffs i do think that kind of pushes like where they want five turn cooldowns to be if they and because they have this one be a six like they <sighs> this one also they can't make a five because there are five turn cooldown dual color buffs that are only 20 percent, and that's the whole skill so making this a five turn, uh-uh. But like, 
them making this a 20 is the only reason this is a five turn. Uh, because now she's a farmer. These two are the skills you're going to have to max out. Uh, you're going to have to lure them if you want to do buster farming with the bring up. This one... And again, if they were swapped around like the cooldowns, like you wouldn't need this one maxed out if this was on a five turn, because then like at nine, it would be on a six and then you, you could still double stack and just get these doubled up. But because this is a six, if it's not maxed out, you won't be able to double stack it in double bitch, which again, Dobrin is able to do now. She was not able to do this before. She was just lacking a little bit of charge. Passive skills, quick performance up 12%, and debuff resistance up 20%. They're like very solid for a rider to have. Like for you have like high debuff resistance, and then you also have debuff immunity. They they don't want her to get debuffed. They want to give you as many chances to avoid it. Uh, if you so mana loading is not needed. Although it does help out a bit, there is the issue where if you don't have a good 60% uh, CE that gives you buster up, there isn't that much of a difference between running Dobrynia with a 60 and running her with a K scope. Now, if you don't have an MLB K scope, you probably need this maxed out. Uh, if you don't want to use skill three on the first turn, like if you don't have that maxed out, but regardless, you do need that skill maxed out either way. So it's just like, you, you don't need this to pen. This is, this is what I'm trying to say, say if you are doing a normal single core buster farming setup with, uh, Dobrynia, you do not need this maxed out. If you are trying to push out as much damage as you possibly can in the setup, you will need this, but the damage isn't going to be that much because 60 percent ce's aren't known for giving a whole lot of damage none of them come anywhere close to what cranking does for your damage um anti alter ego this the, this is so she bends koi and skaya over her lap and spanks her for being a bad girl like because they'll bring is like koi and skaya's mom or something um that wasn't a sexual thing that was like childhood getting like a spanking for being like not listening to my parents and honestly that bitch bitch honestly could use it fucking try not i swear to god if she is if point sky is the summer servant this year she's going to be the quick support because it's free real estate for her there are no quick supports so why not just come in and t dominate the marketplace right um all right and extra attack finesse if she is a boss killer you would want this maxed out if you plan on bringing her to fight bosses max this out you'll get better refund and you'll be able to keep your looping going even if you aren't doing the full double bitch oberon because in a challenge quest oberon's gonna fuck you up oberon is the finisher you do not use him in the same way in a cq as you do Oh, excuse me in farming all right so here's the buff they gave her more damage and they gave her 10 percent to the party after the mp why does this change her farming why does only 10 percent change it because she already has the 20 and you're you with buster farming you plan to double stack anyway so she uh uh she MPs, double bitch batteries, brings her back up. All her skills are back off cooldown. Her MP comes in at 10. Her skill comes in at 20. And then you have Oberon for 70, and that's 100. Before this buff, the only way you can get Dobrynia to actually do three turn farming is double Oberon. And the damage for that is just not fucking there. Um don't know how our mp damage is right now but let's check okay yeah 
now she does look a lot better because i do believe she was like around here before the buff so this is very welcome she does like she only is double stacking buster um that i think is going to be your main concern with dobrynia you need to get her attack as high as possible because in her normal setup she isn't going to have any attack buffs actually in fact um give me a second okay so i just went through all the ce's that actually had 60 percent starting charge and yeah so there was one ce that had mp damage but that was split stats and if dobrynia doesn't have any attack buffs whatsoever going for a split stat ce is not going to help you for damage it is actively going to hinder you um she's gonna need as much base attack uh yeah no as much base attack as possible for scaling um and cqs boss fights this is less of an issue just plugs uh suit someone in expect them to die if they have like good attack buffs but this one and this one are gonna be your best options and lean i lean more towards this ce battle olympia just because dobrynia does have a uh, double arts double buster deck uh I close it? okay so mp like i actually didn't go through effects even though it was up on the screen so defense pierce burn uh works with honey lake but you don't need this because you can just put uh command codes defense down 20 percent good but it happens after damage this is really for uh cqs or like or you weaken uh the enemy so your buster crits uh bite even harder and then she gets a 20 percent buster buff uh for lasting for one turn so there is no ramp ramp up and it again does make her buster follow up buster crits hit really really hard like buster brave chains with dobrynia will slap like your buster crits will hit as probably as hard if not harder than the mp just because this sets you up to do more damage ascension actually this is very very easy like this is you can farm up her ascension ascension mounts in a day like you're gonna have to refill probably a little but you can easily do it in a day it's just probably gonna take an hour or two of like actively farming or you already have these mats yeah on it honestly for a four star this is like really really tame this this is honestly so tame for skills like i'm, I'm going through this and th this is more the issue for our pens and you don't even if you don't have multiple copies you're not even gonna see like need to look at this so yeah they got they have the skills that people are going to have to level they got them like good math on ce power more power mod against dragon and crit damage for the party while she's on the field this is this is not a banner you should be summoning on it is again two permanents and one of them is in competition with literally every single other aoe buster rider and or every other rider and she like outside of fighting dragons she is not going to be doing that good she has inherently what 80 percent power mod against dragon in her kit and it goes up to 95 with the bond ce like you take that away and the only thing that she has buffing her damage is this art uh the buster and art in the current buster farming setup there is no attack boss and that is going to cripple her actual damage and it to add insult to injury there is no 60 percent ce that is like either full attack with mp damage or full attack with alt with an attack buff like a golden sumo um 
This just completely limits the upper ends of what her damage could be, just because you get so much buster up in the normal buster farming setup. It's like, yes, yeah, she has good buffs. They just don't work that. They don't, they don't multiply together. That's the issue. They add into each other. They don't multiply with each other, which would just result in a higher number in general. Overall, this is a good buff. It makes spawn point farming her significantly easier. You are far more likely to like run into dragons in farming nodes for, especially these mats. Like, I didn't, like, I didn't actually bring it up, but these two, like the dragon fangs and the dragon scales, like you could use Dobrinia to actually farm them. And she wouldn't be the worst option. Uh, it, you just need a node where the wyvern, wyverns and dragons are just casters. Or you might be able to just do it neutral if your MP copy is high enough. All right. That's it for Dobrinia. I'm going to try to have this out at the new upload time, 9 a.m. Eastern, <laughs> since uh, I'm no longer working uh, until next week. But even then, it's half days. So hopefully these uh, videos, they start coming out more frequently. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.